Hi, everybody. We are, hi, everybody. We're, we're Team Tactics, which stands for Teens and Cops Together in Chicago Successfully. We attend Winter Phillips Academy High School in the Bronzeville community. Our aim was to build a better relationship between teens and cops through fostering community relationships and in-school workshops. We chose Robin Robinson's challenge to uh, build a better relationship with teens and cops in the Brownsville community. Uh, we saw that this was a large issue in our community, thus we, uh, we chose it. <clears throat> the incarceration rate among minority teens in America is alarming. African American teens represent 37% of the youth population, yet account for over 80% of juvenile arrests in Chicago alone. With police brutality being one of the largest talked about issues in America, we have seen tension in our communities, on social media, and even in front of us in day-to-day -day life when it comes to officers of the law. We want teens and cops to come together. We want mutual respect to be given and felt on both sides. We believe that not only will this improve the relationships in those specific groups, but rather bring communities together as a whole. And to begin to tackle such a large issue, we began to attend beat meetings throughout the CAPS program. CAPS stands for Chicago Alternative Police Strategy. They were, they were attempting to work with communities to solve problems in a collaborative way. We saw that this was a perfect opportunity to build our own relationship with officers and create an interaction with students at our school. We thought that bringing a CAPS program into our school would make a more comfortable environment for students to discuss and develop a better relationship with officers. We built a versatile curriculum and shared it at the school so teens and cops could come together. All work consists of three workshops. The first workshop, the first workshop is focused on team building such as icebreakers and skits. The second workshop is focused on knowing your rights and do's and don'ts in certain scenarios between teens and cops. The third workshop is Q&A as well as mentorship development between teens and cops. We also partnered up with Bronzeville Community Action Council to share our curriculum with other schools in the Bronzeville community. We teamed up with Illinois Leaders for Equity and Education who focus on the school to prison pipeline. With them, we held community meetings for teachers, law enforcement, and students to uh, discuss the relationship between young teens and law enforcement. We continue to attend and invite our peers to be meetings as well as peer jury and the Explore program. In the beginning, over 50% of the students that we surveyed had an average of in the beginning, over 50% of the students we had ranked their trust for police officers lower than a 5 on a 1 to 10 scale. Furthermore, those same students had an average of 10 incidents with the police officers. We found this data outrageous and we were determined to change it. So, after conducting the lessons that we created for the workshops, we handed out more surveys and found out that 81% of students had a trust with police officers, had, yeah, had an increase of trust with police officers. We found out that 83 had a uh, felt like they knew their rights better and 85% felt like they were more comfortable around the law enforcement. Oh, we had a total of 54 students and 31 uh, police officers. 100% 100, 100 of those who participated stated that they would participate again. We also managed to give out 15 applications in regards to the peer jury and uh, Explorers Club. Thank you. We will be able to expand and grow our solution through the community partnerships we have built. Additionally, we ensure that our solution, we ensure that, <laughs> We ensure that our solution will be sustainable and functional well at any school. 
We utilized the budget to thank the officers and students with refreshments, whether or not our solution was not financially taxing. All Time is up. Let's we give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Three minutes, question and answer starts now. Would you like to add anything that we didn't find out at the end of time? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, uh, so uh, all in all, our work thus far has been successful. We've been, we've been able to create a versatile curriculum in which we can use all around the sh Chicago, not j all around the Bronzeville community, not just in Chicago, but yeah, well, all around throughout the city. Uh, all in all, we are tactics. There we go. Uh, what's the next step? So uh, we all gave out, unless Josh, you want to say that? No. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, so our next step is with our partners and everything that we have, we uh, expand or plan to expand our curriculum even further and have it so it's more versatile so we can implement it in different times in different schools. And uh, that'll allow us to incorporate more and more groups and contacts. We also gave our curriculum to the Bronzeville Community Action Council in which they'll be sending our like whole setup care package all throughout the city. You have um, one minute and 55 seconds. Can you give a specific example of um, seeing your work come to action? So uh, a specific example would be where we, went, we just had our last workshop with the police officers and students and we realized like that prior to that day, well, I wanna say the day afterwards we had an incident in our building, but because of the practice and such that we've been teaching in our workshop, we managed to de-escalate the problem much quicker than we averagely would have. Any more questions? It's unbelievable amount of police you got involved. That's the most I've ever heard of any use by it. A lot. Any, any youth group getting involved. How'd you get so many police to work with you? See, well, when we attend beat meetings, well, basically the cap meetings, they were there, so we was there. We spread it, the word of Aspen through them. And so we once they heard that our, what we was doing, they wanted to like, come into, like, how can I say? Yeah, they wanted to you know, incorporate themselves in our program and such. We were supposed to have two officers come here, but we were told that we can't, which now I am upset about, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it was just surprising to see how many police officers actually wanted to help us out with this program. We would have had a lot more, but due to the work schedule and such, of course, you know, people actually do have personal lives with themselves and stuff that they need to take care of. So we tried to put that into perspective too. 25 seconds. In other words, that means we gave our free candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Robert Robinson came. <laughs> oh yeah, Robert Robinson came to our, our last community meeting that we had. Yeah, it was awesome. Was the Any more questions? Which was the house party that seconds. we had presented, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's give them a great big round of applause. Yeah.